to Drawing with Paolo. Today I will teach you how to draw a sphere. Of course, everybody should know how to draw a circle. A basic circle is like a flat shape. But today we're going to be drawing a sphere. The sphere has volume and takes shape on your page. If successful, the volume should look like it's coming out of the page. And so that's what we're going to try to do today. What's the difference between a circle and a sphere? Well, they're both the same shape. The idea here is you really, really want to create the idea of volume with shading. So let's begin by drawing our circle. Here's the circle. Step one, of course, drawing a circle. Everyone out there should be able to do that. Then the next step is to fill in that circle with a basic tone. So all I'm going to do is fill in this circle with a same shade of gray across my circle completely. The same shade of gray from top to bottom, not changing too much in the tone if I can. I'm going to fill that circle completely just to make sure that I have the entire circle filled in. From top to bottom, same to basic tone. And a nice shade of gray. Then the next step is to decide which angle my light's coming from. So what I want to do is pick a side. I'm going to decide that my light's coming from the top right. If it's coming from the top right, then the bottom left needs to be darker. And so we're going to start with that way. I'm going to actually color in the bottom left part much darker than the rest of my circle. I'm going to make sure, however, that that uh, shading is actually curved and follows the sphere uh, in shape and pattern. And then I need to use a gradient. The gradient means that I need to change the darkness of that uh, shadow. And as I'm moving along my sphere, I need to make it lighter and lighter. So the bottom part is very dark. And as I'm moving up with my uh, pencil, I'm going to make sure that the light is getting lighter and lighter or the shade is getting lighter and lighter, not the light itself. Not the light, <laughs> but the pencil, uh, the graphite. All right, so I'm going to actually color the bottom part of this sphere, make it much darker, and make it lighter and lighter, apply less and less pressure as I'm moving all the way up along this sphere. Just like that. So I'm going to color this all the way up, add a bit more lead here, and there we go. So what I have, therefore, is a spherical shape, which has been shaded, the bottom part very dark, and as my lead moves along its way up the sphere, I'm making it lighter and lighter. Now, of course, we can always draw a contour line here to finish this off, to make it a little bit cleaner. And sometimes we can use our eraser. I love this eraser. It's a nice little pencil shaped eraser. And then with the same eraser, I'm going to actually create a uh, reflection on the top of my sphere. So just by erasing a little circular shape at the top, it gives it that idea of a nice highlight there at the top of my sphere. Sometimes when a sphere is on a surface, the light reflects off that surface and bounces up and hits the sphere at the bottom of it. So we can actually create that element by erasing a little uh, sliver along the bottom edge of our sphere, which gives it an idea that there's a reflection at the bottom of this object. There we go. Now that that's erased. I'm going to actually darken it back up a little bit. The reflection at the bottom can't be brighter than the reflection on the top, so I'm going to recolor on top of this with a lighter shade of gray, just to give the illusion of a reflection at the bottom of this. Now, some people will say, why are you going back to basic drawing, Paolo? That's a great question. Actually, I have a lot of new subscribers on my YouTube channel. And I thought it was a good time to go back to basics. There we go. And there you have it. Now you know how to draw a sphere. Thank you for watching Drawing with Paolo today, and I hope to see you next time on another episode. See you soon. Thank you.